split the difference and go something like that. Oops. One, two, three, snap. Just like mama used to make. Looks very comfortable. Yeah, it's starting to look like something. Something, I don't know what, but it's looking like something.
You see it? Just starting. There. Yeah. And because this is something that's held in the hand, it's something you gotta constantly feel. And your eyes will betray you, but your hand will.
So there you go, there is the tote, and I'm in love with this. Now, if you didn't see the video, I did one about the knob where I wanted to show how do you actually make a knob without a lathe. So I made this without turning it, and it's something you can do. If you don't have a lathe and you need to make a knob, you can still make this happen. Now, this whole project is for a friend of mine. Uh, he's actually a fan of the channel. He sent this to me so that I can make the knob and tote and do a video about this, and now I'm gonna send it back to him. We do still have the original knob, but we don't have the original tote, and we didn't have the screw that locked it down in. And that was something that was really hard to find, and where do you find those rare parts. Well, if you want to find rare parts, I have a website set up called handtoolfinder.com. And on there, I have a whole list of online sellers and collecting groups and things of that nature. And I went down through the list and I contacted a few of them and found a guy who had the parts that I needed. So if that's something you're looking for, go to handtoolfinder.com and you'll be able to find all the parts you need for any particular rare tool, which if you've ever seen one of these, they are very rare and very expensive. Now I know, yes, zebra wood is not the original wood for this. I know it is rosewood and we do still have the original knob, so we're gonna be saving this. So if someone does want to make a matching tote in the future, they can, but man, that looks good. And I really, really like how this came out. Um, so yes, I, I think I may actually end up using zebra wood in the future. I think the only weird thing is that the, the lines go this way and then the lines go this way, um, but maybe we'll have to fix that in some way or another. So if you do like these videos where I don't talk, then stay here soon. I'm gonna be moving all of the talking videos over to Wood by Right 2. And if you do wanna see more detail and how to exactly going into this, and I talk through this step by step and talk about why I did what I did and what's the thought process behind it and how this all works out, head over to Wood by Right 2. And that is where I do all of the, the talking videos. And soon all of those videos are gonna be moved over there. So if you like that, then head over to Wood by Right 2. If you just like the, the standard music in the background and, and easy listening, then stay here. That's what these videos are all gonna be. So I hope you like this. If you did, please let me know down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Those really do help out the channel, and thank you for that. That means a lot to me personally. So I think that's it for now. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Oh, wait. You want, you want me to read something out of this book? Okay. What did the ground say to the oil worker? You bore me. <laughs>